in Stamford, Connecticut. This is 9.30 in the morning. It's cold out there. It's 30 degrees. And we got a repair to do. People bought this house, place. And got to do this repair. Let me show you. Um, the roof is leaking. So got to clean this out. Um, you can see how cold it is. Look at the ice and on the roof. But let me point you out what I see what's wrong, what I found what's wrong. Let me point you out. Let me get over this railing. This is a torch down roof. You can see by the, the welding and the seams. This is a torch down roof. You can see how it oozed out. Very nice. So the welds and the seams are very good. But the mistake they made was they got beautiful, beautiful flashing. You see the flashing? Very, very nice. And you can see the flashing, but the flashing is over the membrane. And then they put tar here to seal it. That is really wrong. Look, the water, water gets now trapped behind this tar. And then it goes into the seam here. See the flashing, the seam there? And water just accumulates and goes into the seam. That's one wrong thing. So... The, the membrane is the membrane is supposed to be over the flashing adhere to the flashing not the flashing over the membrane number one problem okay you've got columns the railing and columns right look at this they brought the, the roofing up to the column but look at this you cannot do that how do you seal that See that? Absolutely wrong. To same here. Okay. That's not good. That's the second problem. So now let me see what else I can find. Now here they went up with a membrane. That's nice. I see something really, really wrong here. I don't know what they did here. With this. Oh, that's paper. Okay. This is nothing. Okay. That's okay. Wow. Okay. Let me show you. You can tell there's no copper pan underneath this door. Okay. I'm not fixing that. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. They need to they need to take the door out. Oh. Yeah, don't do don't do anything. Okay. But, yeah. They need to take the door out. The door has to come out, and a new a pan, copper pan, or a, any pan has to be installed. Okay, that's bad. This, this is what's leaking. <clears throat> this is just a bare column. There should be a sleeve over this and a cap on top of the sleeve. And, but in this case, it's not. So, how do you fix this? Well, the tar, you can see the tar is cracking up and breaking. I'm going to cut this away like this. Cut it like that. Okay, here we go. This sticks to uh, to asphalt, to metal. This is an unbelievable. And then this way, I can get. You can make an easy repair instead of tar. Tar is not going to work. Never. That's it. All right. So instead of tar, you do this, the other side, and I know this is sealed now, okay? Unbelievable product.
and so there you go I got the post sealed that's very rare that I would do things like that but it will work um, the tar has worked for many years and I'm doing it with the stuff that will not uh, it stays pliable and flexible all right I made a decision so instead of trying to fix siding. I know the roof is not leaking. Um, I'm going to be honest with the, with the owner and I'm going to explain to him the problem instead of me trying to fix it and make it. Uh, so honesty is best policy. I'm not going to take this man's money because I told him I'm going to fix the roof. The roof, after we spent two and a half hours cleaning up and and checking everything and understanding what the problem is, we come to the conclusion it's a siding. So I'm gonna forego, I'm not gonna charge him anything and probably will have to drive back here and explain to him the problem. It's still on my cost. I mean, I may lose a half a day, but I think it's better that way than trying to fix somebody's problem all right, so that's my decision. And this is one of the few times that I don't fix a problem. But I, I really don't want to get involved here because he needs a door pan, he needs siding problems, and the roof is not a problem. Okie dokie, so much for this roof, for this project. Please subscribe. I'll educate you on other videos that might work. And thank you for thumbs up and comment. Alrighty, I'm out of here.